welcome back to the Morning Blend with our series, Ensuring Small Business with Network Health. Well, we know that many small businesses are struggling because of the pandemic, so we partnered with Network Health to give some a boost. Joining us now from Network Health with more information on this initiative is Erin Kelly. Good morning to you, Erin. Good morning. Thanks for joining me today. You got to talk about the Ensuring Small Business. It's such a cool program, and we're so excited to be a part of it. Well, thanks for having me. We're really excited to have uh, Ensuring Small Business. At Network Health, we understand that things have been really tough for small businesses. And so we teamed up with TMJ4 to create Ensuring Small Business to give small local businesses the spotlight to talk about what they've done in the community during COVID-19. Yeah, and just kind of give a little brief overview. How has it worked so far for people who haven't followed along yet? It's been pretty easy. Small businesses or people in the community can nominate a local small business. And it's it's easy. They go right to tmj4.com slash small business and fill out the nomination form and then Network Health picks a winner. We've been we've been so excited to do this and I'm so excited that we get to reveal the first winner. So talk about who the first one that's chosen is. The first winner is Piper Porch Winery in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Yay, okay, so why did you choose Piper Porch Winery as the first winner? Because I, it sounds like there's someone we all need in our life right now. <laughs> um, Network Health chose Piper Porch Winery um, as our first winner. They were nominated because of their great wine, their beautiful location, and their great people. I want to take a look at who they are, and then we can chat a little bit more. So let's take a look. Hi, my name is Erin Kelly, and this is Ensuring Small Business, presented by Network Health. This month's Ensuring Small Business winner is Piper Porch Winery. Tell us the story of Piper Porch Winery and how you got started. Well, many years ago, uh, my husband Todd, who's our winemaker, and I sometimes thought maybe we could do this ourselves. He did go on to learn and got progressively better at making his wine. We met with the town of McQuanago, and they thought that having this business in the town would be great. And so, 15 years later, here we are. We've been in business for nine years now. Can you talk about what being part of a family-owned business means to you? You are everything in a family-run business. Um, we, though, translate that back to our customers. We treat them like they're part of our family, too. Where can we learn more about your business? Uh, our, at our website, piperporchwines.com, or you can follow us on Facebook. To learn more about Network Health and how we serve Wisconsin small businesses, visit networkhealth.com. I love that, Erin. So Piper Porch Winery, congratulations to them. How cool to hear Kathy talk about the fact that they, they've been around for a while. They're in McWanago. I didn't really realize that people were growing grapes and making wine right here in Wisconsin. Who knew what's not to love, wine in Wisconsin. Absolutely. I'm going to have to go there. And I think one of the things with, you know, a winery especially is a lot of their business, I'm sure, was giving tours. Yes, they've made incredible changes in the light of COVID-19. And we understand that a family-owned business, especially in COVID-19, is impacted. So we're delighted to be able to award uh, Piper Porch Winery with the win. To be able to come on and talk about that and, and actually share with people who they are, where they're located, how long they've been doing this, and a little bit about their small family business, I think can help them grow leaps and bounds and hopefully have all of us try some of their wine. Sounds fantastic. Absolutely. So people who want to nominate a small business, how do they do that? Because is there a qualifying um, determinant on what kind of business can be nominated? Small local businesses based here in Wisconsin can be nominated. The process is very simple. Uh, people can nominate a small business by going to tmj4.com slash small business, filling out a simple form. It's pretty cool. And what does it mean to you guys at Network Health to be able to do that for someone in, in wake of the pandemic? Well, you know, Network Health is a, a Wisconsin-based business, and so we love to be able to support other Wisconsin-based businesses in this difficult time. Piper Porch Winery focuses on their employees as their, one of their greatest assets, and so does Network Health. So exciting. So people can now nominate someone new, and you're going to choose someone each month? Yes, we're going to choose a winner each month. So exciting. I love the fact that we're doing this together. Thank you so much for joining me, Erin. I'm going to give everybody the information for how to nominate a small business. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. If you know about a small business that could use a little extra publicity, nominate them. Just go to tmj4.com slash small business.